fellow students welcome back to your computer science class i am mrs jenny shah and today we are going to do a revision on the list of on the functions of the list the syntax and their use so these are all the functions we had learned this class uh, we had learned append index extend insert pop count reverse sort and clear append append is used to append any item in the list so if you want to add any item to the list you can use the append function it will add the element at the end of the list so if it's an empty list it would be the first element that's added then second and third it's already a filled list it will be the last element to be added index index uh, is used to print the index number of any element available in the list in case there are multiple occurrences of the element the first occurrence index number will be printed so index is to find out the index number of any element of a list extend extend is used to append any item or list in the given list so if you want to add an entire list you want to append a list of elements to an existing list then we use extend extend is used to extend a list with a list insert insert takes two arguments the position as well as the item so in insert you have to mention the index number that you want to enter the value at and also the value that you want to insert in insert you will not lose any value of the list so if i say insert 2 comma 100 the number 100 will be added to my list and 33 34 and 44 are shifting so i'm not losing any number here i am inserting i repeat i'm not replacing a value i am only inserting pop takes the index number and it is used to delete or extract an item from a list and that number disappears it deletes but the the argument that we must mention with the pop function is the item the value that i want to delete and not the index number count will count the number of occurrences of that item in the list reverse is used to reverse the entire list sort is used to sort a given list okay these are some examples of sort so if i have a a string kind of thing it is sorting it up in the in the alphabetical order clear is used to clear or empty a list the list will become empty so uh, these are some nice uh, challenges that you all can practice at home you will initialize a list of five names and print the sorted list in the reverse order then you will initialize the name of three girls and another list of four boys and then you will merge these two lists and even print all the names in the alphabetical order the examples uh, the the challenge i gave has been solved out here the first list is isha alok divyansh harsh and rudra and i have sorted it in the descending order using the reverse true statement question two is here there are two lists the boy list and the girl list and I have another list that I'm joining these two lists and finally sorting both the lists together. I, in, I hope you enjoyed this small and quick presentation of all the functions of the list. This is for your upcoming examination so that you are more prepared. With this children, I end this class. Stay home, stay safe, take care, keep learning. Thanks.